Comics are not novels, and they're not movies. They're fundamentally different. They are tactile. They don't move in one particular direction. The eye pauses and goes back. And they're something that anyone can make. They're a place where an artist makes a statement, and the reader comes to the statement, and there's this place, and it's called the page. But it is the junction place of the imagination. And for the artist, it's a chance to communicate with the reader by not being there. The artist is gone. For the reader, it's a chance of inspiration to open up a portal that the artist set up. The artist set that portal up, but the artist doesn't control it. So here's one. This is a great comic. It's called Gluten Free by Eleanor Davis. Not a superhero story at all. Starts with kind of a young woman thinking about her problems. And then we realize how despairing she is. And then the next page, she's thinking about it more. And then she discovers it's all gluten. She really doesn't have any problems. Her whole life can be solved by Udi's bread. It's flat irony. Because in a way, we do believe like, maybe all my problems will be solved if I cut out gluten, right? In a way, we get to the end, we follow along, and we're like, oh, okay, I'll cut gluten. But boy, if this image doesn't, doesn't slay you, if this doesn't tell you where it really is, that's not just about gluten and some dietary supplements. That is the horror, the pain of where we are in the world right now. So I'm arguing that it's not linear, right? It does have to do with a progression, but boom, you're hit with this. And you have to pause and you have to take it in. And that image doesn't leave you as you go here and then you move back to this image.